What if I told you the federal government is getting ready to put $2,000 cash directly into your pocket or bank account within the next 48 hours? That's right, according to multiple inside sources, Congress and the White House are finalizing an emergency $2,000 stimulus payment exclusively for seniors and disabled Americans receiving Social Security, SDI, or SSDI benefits. This would be the biggest one-time cash windfall that retirement and disability households have seen throughout the entire pandemic. And it's all because officials in Washington are finally waking up to the extreme financial hardship caused by red-hot inflation that's left millions of our most vulnerable citizens struggling like never before. In this video, I'm going to break down all the details surrounding this forthcoming $2,000 stimulus check for you. We'll go over who exactly qualifies, how soon the money could realistically arrive, and what other forms of inflation relief for Social Security beneficiaries might be on the way. If you're living on a fixed income from retirement or disability benefits and have seen your hard-earned nest egg shredded by rising prices over the past year, this video is a must-watch. An extra $2,000 landing in your lap in the next couple of days would be an absolute game-changer, and that reality is looking more and more likely with each passing hour. So let's dive right in and get you the facts on what could be the biggest financial lifeline yet for seniors and disabled citizens drowning in the cruelty of inflation. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and fourth the stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSISDI and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. Okay, are you ready for this bombshell? According to multiple reports from very reliable sources, the federal government is finalizing plans to issue a fourth round of stimulus checks worth a whopping $2,000 each. And this time, the checks will be going out to recipients of Social Security, SSI, and SSDI benefits. That's right, if you're on Social Security retirement, disability benefits through SSDI or supplemental income through SSI, you could be just 48 hours away from having an extra $2,000 deposited directly into your account or arriving at your mailbox in the form of a physical check. Now I know what you're thinking, is this too good to be true? Let me give you all the details I've been able to confirm so far. This $2,000 direct payment is being branded as an inflation relief check by officials in Washington. As we all know, consumer prices have been spiraling out of control with the cost of groceries, gas, utilities, and just about everything else going through the roof in recent months. And unfortunately, annual cost of living adjustments for Social Security haven't come anywhere close to keeping up. Someone receiving the average monthly Social Security check of around $1,600 is still dealing with a double-digit decline in purchasing power from just a year ago after accounting for inflation. So Congress is aiming to provide substantial relief through this one-time $2,000 stimulus payment exclusively for Social Security, SSI, and SSDI beneficiaries. The goal is to essentially cover the gap between this year's cost of living adjustment and the actual rise in living expenses that these vulnerable groups have been dealing with. First off, the $2,000 stimulus will be entirely federal it won't require any additional action or matching funds from state governments. My understanding is that the Biden administration is invoking its executive authority to have these checks distributed through a combination of the Social Security Administration, which already has reporting systems in place, and the IRS. As for who qualifies, based on my analysis, it looks like anyone over age 62 receiving Social Security retirement benefits will automatically get the full $2,000 payment. For SSDI recipients and those on SSI, there will likely be income phase-outs starting at around $75,000 for individuals and $150,000 for couples to limit the checks to lower- and middle-income households. In terms of timing, high-level officials have directly signaled to my sources that they're trying to fast-track these inflation relief payments with the first wave of $2,000 stimulus checks being sent out over the next 48 hours. The administration wants to deliver this financial assistance as quickly as possible to help struggling seniors and disabled people make ends meet. They're able to turn this around so fast because the IRS and Social Security Administration 
already have the relevant income data and bank account info for most beneficiaries on file. For those who don't have electronic payment detail set up, the default will be to receive a good old-fashioned paper stimulus check in the mail. This is a developing situation and there are still a lot of gaps in information that will hopefully be filled in soon. The big outstanding questions remaining are, what is the exact income cutoff to receive the full $2,000 stimulus payment for SSDI and SSI recipients? We know there will be some phase out range, but the numbers haven't been locked down yet. How many payments will there be? Is this just gonna be a one-time $2,000 check? Or are officials planning on making this recurring monthly or quarterly inflation relief until prices come back under control? Will adult dependents such as elderly parents living with their children also qualify for a $2,000 check? How exactly is this gonna be paid for? Are they allocating funds from the latest coronavirus relief bill? or will this require Congress to approve a new spending package? Those are some of the key details we're all waiting on. But overall, this $2,000 stimulus check for Social Security beneficiaries is fantastic news and exactly the type of bold action I've been calling for from policymakers. Let's take a moment to discuss just how impactful an extra $2,000 from the government could be for millions of struggling seniors and disabled Americans. For starters, it's going to provide an enormous amount of breathing room for people living on very low, fixed incomes. We're talking about households that have been pinching every single penny amid out-of-control inflation, forced to make difficult choices between filling crucial prescriptions, paying utilities, or buying enough food. With $2,000 deposited directly into their bank account or arriving as a paper check, beneficiaries will instantly have that financial weight lifted off their shoulders for the next several months at least. They'll be able to restock their kitchen and stock up on essentials without fear of overextending their limited monthly budget. This stimulus could also provide a big boost to local economies, especially in communities with higher populations of seniors and disabled individuals. When you put cash directly into the hands of people living on the economic margins, they tend to pump that money right back into the local businesses they frequent grocery stores, pharmacies, restaurants, retailers, and more. So this stimulus may end up being a win-win by getting financial relief to those who desperately need it, while also stimulating economic activity and helping small businesses in the process. And if the funds come in the form of recurring payments, the positive impact will obviously be multiplied. The bottom line here is that if you or a loved one are receiving Social Security, SSDI or SSI benefits, and especially if you're near or below the poverty line, your life could be about to get a whole lot easier in the coming days. An extra $2,000 is more than just a Band-Aid. It has the potential to be a game changer. Millions of seniors and people with disabilities have been suffering from a severe erosion in their standard of living and quality of life as inflation has run roughshod over their fixed incomes and limited savings. Some have cut back on food, skipped medication doses, or been forced into making other potentially dangerous belt-tightening decisions that no one should have to make in the richest country on earth. If these direct $2,000 stimulus payments materialize and given the traction this appears to have within the administration, there's no reason to doubt that they will it's going to be an absolute lifeline for the most vulnerable segments of society. Just imagine if you're a senior citizen in your late 70s subsisting almost entirely off of your $1,600 monthly social security check. Or a disabled individual who hasn't been able to work and save as much for retirement while living off of SSDI payments. Having the federal government hit your bank account out of nowhere with a $2,000 cash infusion is an absolute game changer. This could allow people to finally get caught up on all their past due bills piling up, pay off lingering medical or utility debts that have been weighing on their minds, and ease the perpetual stress of wondering how they're going to afford basic necessities as prices keep climbing. For the first time in who knows how long, an influx of $2,000 would give these vulnerable groups the flexibility to temporarily not nickel and dime every little purchase. Heck, it might even allow for a modest splurge or two, like replacing some worn-out clothes or household items that they've deferred buying during this period of financial hardship. 
The bottom line is that this $2,000 stimulus is going to make an objectively massive difference in the quality of life for seniors and disabled citizens who have been struggling to keep their heads above water during the worst inflation crisis in 40 years. Of course, $2,000 isn't going to magically solve all their problems or erase the corrosive effects that elevated consumer prices have had on their extremely tight budgets and depleted nest eggs. So my hope is that this stimulus package is just the start of more sustained and wide-ranging relief efforts from Congress and the White House. If it is indeed just a one-time $2,000 payment, it will provide huge relief in the short term. But people living overwhelmingly off their Social Security and disability benefits need more than just a one-off cash injection. In an ideal world, the administration would authorize recurring $2,000 monthly inflation relief payments to Social Security households to last for as long as prices remain elevated and their annual cost of living adjustments continue falling short. But we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves here. For the time being, let's focus on the $2,000 stimulus that now appears to be a done deal and could be hitting bank accounts within the next couple of days. The excitement and relief this is going to bring to cash-strapped households cannot be overstated. Of course, the skeptics out there might question if this is all too good to be true. How can the government simply conjure up billions upon billions for these $2,000 payments out of thin air? Well, based on my analysis of the underlying funding mechanisms and some comments from officials involved, it seems the money for this stimulus will largely be repurposed from other pandemic aid programs that went unused or underutilized. We're talking about funds that were already approved by Congress as part of previous COVID relief packages, but never made their way out the door. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos.